Cannabis, it's merely a plant, a wild weed, but it produces a range of effects that is unmatched. For some, it's a blissful release. It is nice. It is so nice. It is nicer than nice. You know, it's, I don't know if I can say this on the camera, but it's almost as nice as sex. While for others, it's something that seems to have unraveled their minds and emptied their lives. I hear the voice of a girl I used to know. Sometimes she's told me to commit suicide and things, but I tend to just ignore that. In this film, I want to get to the bottom of this conflict by asking the most basic questions about cannabis. Can it really cause schizophrenia? The vulnerable group, uh, children under the age of 15, uh, receiving high doses or concentrations of THC repeatedly. Can it lead you to take harder drugs? You don't have enduring biological changes that occur because of the cannabis exposure. Or could cannabis even be good for you? With all the sort of tremendous publicity around the link with cannabis smoking and the potential of increasing the risk of psychosis, here we have a component of the plant which itself is antipsychotic. The science is so often obscured by opinion, but what does the latest research reveal about the world's favorite drug? In my job as a psychologist, I deal with addiction. I work with people with heroin and crack cocaine dependence. But with heroin and crack cocaine, I regularly see people brought to their knees, lives ruined, even deaths. But by comparison, for cannabis, it seems to me the effects are like a walk in the park. And yet this is the one drug that's rarely out of the public eye and shrouded in controversy. And that's because more people use cannabis than all other illicit drugs put together. According to a United Nations report, almost one in 20 adults across the globe uses it each year. I've smoked it a few times, um, and yes, I've inhaled. Did I like it? Mm, not really. Um, I mean, I was giggly, and um, having said that, though, I felt a bit uneasy and a bit a bit behind the conversation, a bit thick, to be honest, and wasn't really for me. Um, but I can see the attraction. I can see that, you know, actually feeling kind of out of control and giggly and relaxed and enjoying the flow of a conversation would be, for many people, quite a, a good thing to do. But I want to know why.